Mistakes are inevitable. It's impossible to always be perfect all the time. You can see these little mistakes in the world around you. An example is Fragile X Syndrome. People with Fragile X Syndrome have delayed speech and mental maturity. The DNA polymerases when they were being made made a mistake. To start, people with Fragile X Syndrome have a genetically mutated X chromosome that looks like this. And in it, there is the fMR1 gene that has the genetic information for RNA binding protein, fMRP. This is where the fMR1 gene is located, where the chromosome looks thinnest. Then why does someone have Fragile X Syndrome? Well, the main reason is because there are too many repeats of the trinucleotide codon, CGG. People without Fragile X Syndrome have less than 50 repeats of CGG, but people with Fragile X Syndrome have more than 200 repeats of CGG. See. It's like there being DNA polymerases that work in a factory to stamp out codons for the genes. This DNA polymerase, let's name him Tom, works in the 5' untranslated region of the fMR1 genes. The information he stamps out is supposed to make fMRP, which is an RNA binding protein that regulates synapses in the brain. Synapses in the brain are where neurons connect and communicate with each other. But for some reason, Tom makes a mistake and gets all confused. And finally, he makes the executive decision to, to start all over again. This makes a huge amount of CGG copies. Jerry adds a methyl group to all the cytosines of the sequence. This makes the sequence more girthy. Because there are too many methyl groups in one sequence, that part of the sequence gets greatly condensed. Since DNA polymerase made a mistake, it is put on timeout and can no longer work. Because DNA polymerase cannot stamp out more copies of the CGG codon, the fMR1 RNA cannot be made. So the next time you see someone with Fragile X Syndrome, you know a little bit more about them. How does this small pill fight this deadly disease? Human Immunodeficiency Virus, or HIV, is a virus that originated from chimpanzees and was transmitted via meat or blood to humans. HIV targets our immune system, and more specifically, the CD4 cells in our body. CD4 is like a fire detector when detecting a virus will ring an alarm and ask for help from other immune systems to combat the virus. By removing the CD4 cell from your immune system, the HIV annihilates the early warning system, making it too late when the immune system catches on. The HIV's life cycle is categorized into seven steps, binding, fusion, reverse transcription, integration, replication, assembly, and budding. And it's this stage of the cycle that scientists exploited to find the first cure for HIV. In reverse transcription, the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, or NRTI, blocks the HIV's reverse transcriptase, which is like a photocopier that prints out a strand of DNA to complete the viral DNA strand, stopping them from multiplying. When we look at it more closely, the NRTI is in the form of di-deoxyonucleotide triphosphates, which bind with deoxyribonucleotides of HIV by acting like thymine or cytosine. The DDNDPs lack a 3' hydroxyl group, which prevents the formation of a complete DNA strain, as a lack of 3' hydroxyl group makes it unable to form the phosphodiester bond between the nucleotides, terminating the chain. This is also called senior sequencing. Think of it like this. There's a train and there are two pathways. One is a dead end and one allows the train to reach their next station. It's a DNTP that allows the train to reach their destination. But when DDNTPs attach to DNTP, they cannot quote unquote resist pulling the lever, making the track lead to a dead end. However, nature has evolved and one way it did is through active exclusion. In active exclusion, the mutation of M1A41 makes it quote unquote ignore the DDNTPs by making the HIV more appealing to the DNA chain, which then basically excludes the NRTI from the DNA chain. Sounds similar to my life in high school. Breakthroughs lead to other breakthroughs, and scientists are working on a better cure for HIV every day. And who knows if that person will be you.